Hey everyone, it's late Sunday evening here and I think it's time to progress a little bit more in Elden Ring. We are very, very, very close to the end, let me tell you. There are technically only three bosses standing between us and the conclusion of this playthrough. And what I thought I would do between the last episode and now is I went all out. And by going all out, I mean I used up all of the spare runes that I've collected up until now and we can get some levels. I think this is what I'm gonna go for. I think 65 int is like the the like ultimate standard to go for. Plus of course a little bit more MP never hurt anyone. So yeah, that's my choice. And of course the time has come to face off against Godric who is one of my favorite endgame Elden Ring bosses and hopefully it goes well with the sorcerer as well because this boy does a lot of damage so it could be you know it could be a bit tough but we'll we'll see what happens I feel like I'll be able to blast him and yeah that's about it I could try the Comet Azure setup here I'm not sure how it would go he's loud as fuck too There's a badass voice actor too. I really, I do, I love everything about this character. And this game should have had more bosses designed this way, like how he is designed. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured. He's so cool. But he's gonna get blasted. Yeah, the lion is making a lot of noise. We have our little witch hat, so it's gonna be good. <laughs> good timing on the music too. All right. I will probably need to remember how this goes. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. Uh, and this is his like high HP phase. Not high HP, but high defense phase. Because the thing is, on yeah, he does that. The second phase is where he takes more damage, but does more damage too. God, my weapon is doing nothing. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was expecting my... Uh, Swords deal a little bit more damage. Especially since it's like fully upgraded. I don't do shit. Oh yeah, that does a shockwave. And that does that and I'm not screwed. That is one of the bigger like major attacks you can use to bait him this attack that big swing he does anyways I'm just learning here obviously this ain't gonna be the the attempt okay 
He doesn't really like avoid you. That's the thing. Poor lion is gonna get absolutely massacred here. Kind of a dick move. I still, I, I'll still say that. Bit of a dick move, but it's just how he does it. Turns into Zangief, of course. Can I get them three sixes out here? Now I fight as horror. That is a power stance if I've ever seen it. Okay, what is he gonna open up with? That. Oh. Oh yeah, that's hot. Yeah, you can see like yeah, it's this this is gonna be this is gonna be okay, uh this fight. Uh comet. I could try carry and slicer too. Mmm. I could try Comet Azor as well, since I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need many of these spells, like... Yeah, let me just do a little bit of rearranging. I think we're okay with Comet, Carrion Slicer, and then we'll get in Terra Magica and Comet Azor. And I, I don't know what else. What have we not used before? People say this is a good spell, Glinblade Phalanx. And yeah, let's get the rocks. I don't really know whether there is a place I could set up Terra Magica slash Comet Azor. Maybe just going for Comet Azor. I guess like once I go in there and the initial because he usually jumps. Yeah, let me just try this. Come on, jump. Or is he that stupid? He kind of is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey, you can't really do that again. Yeah, it's just too slow. But the opening, because he's, he's really dumb. He's really dumb. And that, did, that literally did a quarter of his HP. Uh, I just didn't think it would work. Because usually what he does is he jumps at you, and it's just weird. Okay, well. You learn from every attempt. I'm guessing he's gonna... Knowing my luck, he's immediately gonna jump now. And I'm not gonna be able to get this setup off, but... I sure am gonna try. Oh, he really is stupid. Come on! Ah, shit. Yeah, that's my stupidity. Good old, good, good old carry and slicer. All right. Oh, I should just carry and slicer him. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. All right. 
I, I think we have I think we have our setup for victory. In fact, I don't even really need my sword, do I? I'm a little bit disappointed with this sword. I'm not gonna be like lying to you. Cause I think I can just get by with my regal scepter, can I? God, it's gotta be all the way at the bottom. Well, let's just try it. And I'm gonna get a shield, although it's not gonna be doing much. Cool, let's do this. I can't believe that doesn't stun him. Oh, fuck. Just wondering how far I have to be from him. Go, 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 go. I can get through that so quickly. All right. Oh, yeah, that's. I totally forgot what he does in this phase. Oh yeah, that's a jump, isn't it? God, it's difficult to get to. Yeah, go for that. Just gotta be careful because he has a lot of attack combos. Oh yeah, jump. Shit. Heal through. <sighs> I'm close. I'm close. I mean, this is not difficult. The fact that I can like breeze through phrase one, but yeah, you know, he just does a lot of damage and all that in the second phase. Actually, stamina as well. Cool. I'm just speed running phase one. Basically, oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, fuck. That hitbox, though. That hitbox is insane. Cool. Yeah, again, I'm speed running phase one. Oh man, the amount of damage he does, shit, it's two hits, it's two hits, 
I'm just thinking of another tactic where maybe I can kill him even quicker because he always goes for uh, the big stomp attack right here and I wonder ah oh, shit I think that is gonna work though I just have to get a little bit farther from him if I uh, come to Zor him again Now, doesn't work as well as I thought. Come on. I was, I think I was in the Terra Magical field still. Which is really helpful. Am I still in it? I'm not. Okay. That would have been some major bullshit. Is that gonna work? It sort of did. Shit. Oh, the kick. Come on, go for something big. Yes. Heal. Ah, fucking! He's gonna kill me. Is that gonna? Oh my fuck! Stay cool. Stay cool. No way. No way that... That insta-killed me. From like 85%. <sighs> Elden Ring. Elden Ring, Elden Ring, man. Okay, so at this point I am like pretty clear on his, some of his patterns. Oh no. Like, he always starts off with the grab and the jump. Are you fucking kidding me? And he's able to cancel that. Oh my god. Please die. <sighs> Jesus Christ, that was a difficult boss. Uh, he, I still like him. I still like him. This second phase 
with this type of HP setup is just nutty. Like, I still don't think any boss should be able to kill a level uh, 113 character in two hits. But it's just how we do it. It's just how we do it in Elden Ring. So, yeah. I'm just going to use his soul as well because that's about it. It's 30k. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna go for Vigor because I have a feeling that Radagon, that Mr. Radagon is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Oh, I'm only 2k away from getting another level, so where should I go? Where should I go to farm for something? Something that's gonna give me 2k souls. I don't even know. Let me just quickly take care of that. Cool. That's taken care of. Uh, and I feel much better going into Radagon with only like 1,288 souls to lose. Uh, that feels way better. All right, let's do this. Mr. Radagon. I mean, I'm pretty much at the end of this video. Uh, I have 45 minutes worth of recording against Godric, but I do have a lot to, I mean, got free, but I do have a lot to cut out. Uh, so we'll just see. Oh yeah, and I didn't, I'm not sure if I explained this, but by the end I got so desperate that I actually switched my equipment. And let's go back to the tit shield. This is this this is gonna be a nightmare. I can already tell because I kind of hated this boss on my first attempt too, especially with the two-phased approach. But let's just watch this. Like, get ready to be blinded by this again, like a million times. I'm gonna like very quickly summon if he goes the way I think he'll go. That is a good visual, though. Again, I really like the visual design of the runes in this game. They just got... I don't know, it's just something about them. Thank fuck we've invented skippable cutscenes by this point. Imagine if Souls came out in, like... 1998 when skippable cutscenes weren't a thing or even in like early 2000s and you'd had to watch the, you'd have to watch this shit every single time like you know when people were failing including me against Lady Unaleska or Evray in Final Fantasy 10 and it was just like cutscene 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 oh i got killed again yeah Good invention. Thank you, game designers. Skippable cutscenes? I'm all over that. Hey, it looks good as well. Again, I don't mind this guy visually. It's just this combo of bosses is a little bit... Well, let's not prejudge anything. Oh, yeah, he has, he has spell parry, doesn't he? But he's taking a lot of damage against... Motherfucker. Oh shit. I mean, he's taking okay damage. I think Carrion Slicer is gonna be. I There's no way I'm gonna get Comet to Zor and Terra Magic off in this fight. Z zero chance. Uh, but. Hmm. I, let's hold out for Elden Beast. If I even ever will get to Elden Beast. Now let's not be pessimistic here. God, this is... Just patch this shit out from soft, please. Now let's go for the... Yeah, Carrion Slicer is the way to go. Oh no, it's a two hit. 
He kills me in two fucking hits. It's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be one of those. How ridiculous is that? What level am I now? 117. And he kills me in one... In two hits. Not one hit, two hits. Oh yeah, let's not let's not play that game where where we run out of stamina against Radagon, cause oh yeah, and this is the I mean he's taking a lot of damage. I feel like with the boys in tow, this could work. Am I gonna summon the boys? Let's see what happens. I don't mind steamrolling this dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. We still have a whole other asshole boss to deal with. Bit too early. Boys. Do your thing. I tried summoning against this dude on my first playthrough and I don't remember why I gave up. I mean, they're doing okay. Ish. How smart is he with aggro and all that? If I remember correctly, he's pretty smart. But let's test this. I think I can even get off with Comet Zor and Terra Magica here. Oh man, this this is okay. The, this this is the solution. Uh, we have discovered the solution to this boss, I think. Uh yeah, the boys are really are they're straight up carrying me throughout this run. I don't know if the only reason I'm doubting Comet Azor is that he moves around too much. But that was a that was a tactic. And this lame ass thing. And most of the boys are still alive. I'm just gonna point that out, people. Let's see if this thing takes any damage from magic. I don't think I can get away with using anything else but carry and slicer because I'm gonna run out. I have one le one more um what you call it, cerulean flask left. And Carrion Slicer is what's going to be carrying me, I think. All 
All right, and let's check this out. When I first saw this boss, I couldn't believe it. When I, I should say when I saw his HP bar, I couldn't believe it. I was like, damn, are they serious? Yeah, 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 he's very pretty. Uh -huh. well, let's not skip it. Stay cool, Mr. Sketchhead. Don't get ahead of yourself. All right. What the hell was that? Did you... I cannot believe that hit me. Oh! Fucking hell. He has so much HP. He has so much HP. Do you see how much I was attacking him? And he lost a quarter of his life. I don't even know, man, what they were thinking. Anyways, I think with the combined attempts at Godfrey and... Mm, Radagon as well. I think the time has come to call this episode a day and it's very possible that the next episode will end up being very short. Because, uh, well, no, it's not gonna be short. I, I can guarantee you it's not gonna be short because Elden Beast is gonna be a problem with the amount of HP I have and the amount of damage output he does. So yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of tackle that. I think Radagon phase one we have locked down and yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye. <laughs>